Hi everyone! It's the second week of October and I have not been in this potting shed probably for at least a month and a half, two months. Um, it's pretty much uh, just kind of everything got thrown in here and then I had been really busy with the kittens and everything. So now we have one week of beautiful, I want to say spring-like weather. Um, it's going to be in the mid 60s um, and so I have uh, until next week I have so many things I'm going to do but today I am going to plant my lasagna planters and I'm just going to show you what bulbs I have uh, for the plants this year. So I went out shopping the last few times that I've seen bulbs. So what I have is I have some hyacinths and they're dark purple. I also have ooh, a daffodil mix and I have two different types of Dutch iris. I have one all purple and I'll put the names underneath each one of these pictures and then I have a mix of Dutch iris. I have a really fancy daffodil it's called Replete. I also have a Gavota Tulip. Beautiful Ziva Paper Whites. I have a pastel mix of tulips. I also have Angelique, the double tulip that almost looks like a peony. I have a mix crocus bag and then I have another mix uh, crocus. These little guys are already, let's see if I can get it down there, they're already starting to sprout so I gotta get these in. Mix crocus and then the last thing that I have is a fragrant mix and this has got Angelique tulips, cheerfulness daffodils and Marie hyacinths and they're all in the pinks. So, I have enough here to probably do three pots. Now, I gotta ex tell you something exciting. Well, exciting for me. I'm a clearance shopper. I do my best to go off season to find uh, different things for the garden. And I've done really, really well doing it this way. I found these big pots back here. And I mean, these, these are, well, I'm gonna knock my stuff down. These are huge. Um, they are regularly $12, and I got them for $2.78 today a piece. So Lowe's had a big clearance on their on their pots that evidently nobody wanted red and blue, which are fine. I don't care. Um, as long as they hold dirt and put my plants in, fine. And then I found something really cute. So this little rooster, I don't have chickens in real life. So this little rooster was regular $25. Any cute? And I got them for $5.98. So... My rooster is going to go out in my garden, but right now he's going to keep me company in here. Of course, none of the spring bulbs are on clearance right now. They won't go on clearance for probably, I think they go on clearance in January. And I might um, pick another bunch up. The daffodils, the big King Alfred huge daffodils, they were $20, I believe, for 50 of them. So they're running right about, I think, 50 cents a bulb. Um, so these are what I'm going to plant today. I'm going to plant them in probably the blue pots because I'm going to do something different with the pots. As soon as I get them planted, I want to um, make some faux covers for them out of um, fence board and then paint them and then cover these blue pots so I have two matching uh, pots side by side that make them look a little more square and still the round ones. And that way I can take the, the cases off and just change them out so my dahlias can go in one year and, the, and then the other things and then the pots will look the same all the time. So that's another project that I have coming up probably, oh I'm figuring probably around middle of the week I will have all my fence boards and make some room out there on my husband's side and get the saw out and start uh, building one of those. And then I'll, I'll film it and, and set it out. Probably won't make it out at the end of this week but hopefully by next week. What else do I have? Um, that's it right now. So I'm going to get my soil, um, find some 
uh, junk plastic and f anything that that's uh, I can put at the bottom of this because it doesn't need all this dirt doesn't need to be filled up um, so I usually put in a few little things of whatever I have left but I pr might not have anything left of uh, packing material so I will go look and then I'll be back and show you the color schemes for each pot okay so we're back now what I did was we lucked out there was only one bulb that was bad the rest of the bulbs were all good so we planted our container by depth the smallest bulbs which are the crocus those only have to be planted two inches deep so those are going to be in the very back that's the last in fact here I'll, I'll kind of pick it up so how I have how all my bulbs are all separated to where they um, are all been gone through so the crocus way back here in the back those are two inches deep so those are going to be the last thing that I plant in my container so those are going to go in the back now the hyacinths these dark purple ones and then I have some pink ones aren't the bulbs beautiful beautiful purple now these are four to eight inches so these are really deep bulbs so they can sit up front the paper whites they are about let's see four to six inches um, light depth six inches so so these and the tulips are four to six inches so tulips can be planted a little bit deeper than the than the six inch mark because their their, their little um, stems are so so uh, long but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant a mixture of the daffodils are gonna go down first because the daffodils can go four to six these I believe are are up to eight inches deep yeah up to eight inches deep on on those the King Alfreds I think are even deeper than that so the Dutch iris are another one they're four to six inches the Dutch iris will probably go at the four inch mark that way those will be about just a little bit deeper than the crocus so let's get planting alrighty so these pots came with no drain holes in them uh, it was kind of strange um, that they didn't have drain holes because most pots do have uh, cutouts for drain holes but this one didn't and these are well, I'll leave the sticker on 20.5 inches by 20.5 inches by 15 inches deep or 52 centimeters by 52 centimeters by 38 centimeters um, which you can see the eleven dollars and forty eight cents on there which is kind of crazy um, it's amazing how expensive plastic pots are so I have my drill and I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes in here so that this will drain because you do not want your bulbs to sit in water during the during the winter so you you want them to be able to be free draining So now that we have a lot of holes in there, that should be just fine. And my pots are not going to sit on the ground, so they will sit up enough so that the water will will um, flow through there. Now, what I do is I usually fill the bottom of my my pot with styrofoam, packing peanuts, anything that I save that doesn't go in the recycle bin, but. I have used all my styrofoam up, <coughs> excuse me, and all my packing peanuts up and all my dahlias that I planted over the um, course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to collect, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit dusty. I'm going to collect all the old soil from any of the spring and summer flowers that have died back that are annuals. I'm going to get all the old soil pots and everything and I'm going to fill the bottom up as much as I can with old soil um, I do have some left there's not much and I'm just gonna put that in the bottom and then I'll add a little bit of goodness to it with some bone meal and then I'll plant my first set of bulbs in that they really don't need um, brand new soil on everything but on the bottom is fine we'll put some little bit of food in there for them and they'll be great to go so I'm gonna start uh, collecting soil so I have a little bit of soil and I get a drink first here I'm thirsty Now I do want to do two containers. 
So I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of bulbs or if I'm going to have it sparsely done. Now last year I planted all my old bulbs in and I get a lot of foliage. Um, tulips are usually a one shot deal. You don't usually get tulips um, two years in a row. So I did get a few tulips which I was happy about. I did get more daffodils because daffodils usually continue to grow. I didn't replant my bucket that I had last spring. So what I'll do is I'm just going to leave it out here in the yard and whatever comes up this year or next season I will keep and it'll probably be the daffodils. Daffodils usually keep growing and multiplying. Tulips, the fancy tulips, they only usually are one shot. You, you treat them as an annual. So anyhow, so I got my junk dirt in here and what I'm going to do is find my measuring tape and see where I'm at here at the bottom. So I'm right at the bottom at one foot. So I am going to fill up another couple inches and then I'm going to, I'm going to set my daffodils in because daffodils can go in and uh, that they can go in. They're the bigger bulb and then the tulips next. Now I'm going to add some perlite and this is my perlite from last year from the greenhouse that was uh, not usable for my hydroponics but I put it in a big 33 gallon garbage can and um, use it for my pots and then I'm going to throw in some bone meal if I can find it Somebody ripped the lid off my blood meal. I'm gonna have to find the lid. Evidently a squirrel got in here again. And this will help these plants, especially because this soil doesn't have any any good goodness to it. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to add a very fine layer of grit. Just enough so that the first set of bulbs is sitting with a little bit of, of rock on it. And this grit is, is teeny tiny, teeny tiny little grit. In fact, I probably will go get <clears throat> the, the colored stuff that I have from my fish tank, getting rid of my fish tank. Now I want ooh, the daffodil mix. That was heavy. The first thing that's gonna go in is the daffodil mix. So we're gonna sit with yellows. Now, let me get close enough here so you can see in on how close I am putting this. Okay. Now we are about, I think about 12 inches from the bottom. Not 10. Perfect. Okay, so we're 10 inches from the bottom. Okay, so we have 32 daffodils. And I'm going to put 16 in each container. Thirty-two daffodils. Now I'm going to fill this up so that the soil is just above the point of the daffodils. <clears throat> so here we go. Okay, we are just putting enough soil on just to cover the top and then we're going to give it just a little bit more bone meal just a little bit 
kind of just scrapes that around. I mean, it's only like maybe a tablespoon and a half of bone meal. Okay. Now this soil that I have right here, this is the professional potty mix and it already has a lot of grit in it. But I am just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing I wanna put in is I wanna put my tulips in. So I put in 32 daffodils, those are done until the next pot. Now I'm gonna put my pastel mix in. There's 32 plants, so we're going to put in 16 bulbs of tulips. Oh, and let's see here. I'll say, see where we're at. So we're at the seven and a half inch mark. So how many tulips did I say we're going to put in? We're going to put in 16. So let's just count 16. Okay, so there's 16 of the pastel mix. And what else do I want to put in? I want to put in, I think these daffodils that are peach. I want to put them in with the pink tulips. I think those would be pretty. And I think I want the paper whites in with the pinks. That will be pretty. That'll be a third pot all on its own. Um, what else do I want to... Oh, maybe we'll put some purple hyacinths in this one too. And they, they're they the same depth as the tulips. So let's... How many do I have? Seven bulbs. So we'll put in a couple of hyacinths in here too. Now the tulips, remember, the flat side, you can see where the, the bottom is. That's where the roots come out. And then that's where the green comes out at the top. So make sure you, you get them in there right. And you do not have to worry about where you place them, where those daffodils are underneath, because the green will go right around where it needs to go. They'll work their way out. Okay, so I have all of these planted. And I think what I want to do, which I think would be really pretty, is I think I'm going to take three of these and scatter them kind of in the middle. So I'll have a tulip in the middle. So we have a hyacinth, a tulip, a hyacinth, a tulip, a hyacinth, a tulip. Hy okay, so that'll be pretty. And then two tulips right in the middle. Okay, now, so we have Daffodils, tulips, and hyacinths. And now we are at six and a half. So, what do we want to put in now? Let's put in our Dutch iris. Now, the iris can go uh, four to six inches. I have 60 plants. So, let's put in. Do I want Dutch iris? Yes. Let's put in 30 in here. Six of these, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Six of these tulips. So I'm going to plant three in the middle. So they'll come up right around the hyacinth time. So three, three of the gavoda. And now it's time to go get more soil. Now I'm just patting this this layer down just a little bit just to settle the soil because this is my final layer now it might look funny because where are we at here we have four more inches up from the top but we don't want to put the dirt all the way up the top we want to keep it down so this will be just perfect to put our crocus and then fill the dirt and then we can put some gravel over the top to make it um, not splash up okay so now we have our crocus. This is our final. So mixed crocus. We had 60, 
how many plants did I have? Because I had two packages. I don't know. We had a lot of crocus. So I am just going to just take like half of these crocus. As you can see, I have my crocus. Now I'm gonna fill it up. They only need to be two inches deep. So I'm gonna fill it just to this, uh, I don't know if it comes across the camera, but there's like this rim right here. And that gives about, I think it's two inches. Yep, the rim is the two inch mark to the top of the pot. So that'll give plenty of space so water won't fall over. You won't be washing everything out and we will put some grit on top. So let me go get some more soil, fill it up and we are good. So now this is done. The only thing that I am going to do now is I am going to put grit up here on top. Now this one, I made two of the last ones. Now this one is the one that is going to be all the pastels. So. What I have is I have 15, actually I have more than that because the other one came with it too, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 of the Angelique tulips. And then I have six, six of the, six of the replete. I also have 20 paper whites. The next thing I'm going to plant is I'm going to go ahead and plant in I think these, <coughs> excuse me, are a really light <coughs> white daffodil. They're called cheerfulness, and they look like they're a white daffodil with like a light, limey, maybe yellow center. And they can be planted pretty deep too. So now I'm going to go set these out where um, they'll be safe. I'm going to cover them with chicken wire so the, uh, so the critters can't get in here and have a feast. And uh, off to do our next project. Okay, so it's 6 o'clock and there is the one pot of mixed colors. There's the pastel pot and there's another color of mixed, uh, mixed colors. So I did three pots with all the bulbs that I had. And what a great way to get rid of old soil and what was left of the bag soils. So I don't have to store any of it this year. This is awesome. I'm excited. Can't wait till they come up. It's always so pretty. So anyhow, from me and my pots, um, thanks for subscribing and watching. And I will see you guys again shortly. The birdies are trying to get nested. Have a great night. Bye-bye.